In this video, you will see the proof that the PlayStation 5 by Sony and the Xbox Series X by Microsoft both can be plugged in any outlet between 100 and 240 volts. Subscribe to the Linus Wilson channel where we give you the latest updates on the ninth generation console releases of the Xbox Series X and PS5. If you look really, really closely at the teardowns of the PS5 and Xbox Series X, then you will see on the power box that it says that it accepts 100 to 240 volts input. And that means that if you buy a PS5 or Xbox Series X from a different country that has different voltage than you do, such as if you're a U.S. consumer and you buy an Xbox Series X or PS5 from a European country, you can plug that into the 110 volt outlets in the United States no problem. The only thing that you need to get is a cord adapter so that you have a U.S. outlet figure eight cord, which costs $9 on Amazon. And you probably could get that cord from another device that you aren't currently using. That means if the Xbox Series X or PS5 is sold out in the United States, for example, you could buy one in the UK or Europe or wherever you could find it in the world and could get it shipped back to the US. Now, of course, that would mean that you might have to pay international shipping. Not all retailers will allow that, but the Amazons in Europe, for example, have allowed international shipping such as Amazon Italy and Amazon Spain but some people hesitated about purchasing that because they were worried about the voltage situation but you don't have to worry about it that the power inputs allowed on both these consoles is 100 to 240 volts and they'll work fine with either type of power source, which is consistent with, for example, uh, the PS4 and the Xbox One, which also were dual voltage. It just allows manufacturers of electronics to mass produce these things without having different power boxes for different regions, and they can ship their supply uh, wherever there's the most demand. So in terms of the total power usage for these units, uh, Sony in their teardown said it was 360 watts. And just looking at the stats for the Xbox Series X power box, it's about 250 watts. So you're going to use less power uh, with the Xbox Series X than the Sony PlayStation 5. That might be because Sony has a bigger fan. And I'm pretty sure you can't access these power boxes without risking voiding your warranty. I'm 100% sure that's the case with Sony, but uh, with Microsoft that probably is the case too because these are internal units. You won't be able to see these stats unless you take apart the consoles. That being said, they're likely to print this somewhere else. If you get a new console, uh, it's likely to be in one of the manuals or on the box. But if you're just looking at the console and don't have any manuals, you don't have the shipping box, then to see these numbers on the power, bo power boxes for each one, those are internal to the unit and you have to take apart the whole console to get to them. Which of course you don't want to do because that would void your warranty. I'm Linus Wilson. Subscribe.